Matthew Jolt from Jolt's Tech and Detail World channel. Today uh, the weather is a little bit windy, or rather windy, and uh, in case there is any noise, wind noise in the video, then uh, please accept my apologies in advance. Anyhow, so what we are going to try today is the Nanolex Wheel Cleaner and Iron Remover. I'm going to apply it two ways. One is going to be on a dry surface, on the dry wheel, and then I'm going to agitate it with a brush and the wheel woolly. And the other one is going to be only to apply it or just spray it on um, the dry wheel and then rinse off and to see what is the difference between the two. So let's kick off. All right, just a quick note before we are moving forward with this video. Uh, this is not a paid advert. However, I've got the uh, Nanolex wheel cleaner and iron remover free of charge from carclean.hu. I'm going to provide the link underneath so you can find it easier and quicker if you, if you decide to purchase the item to try it yourself. Um, so let's go ahead. Right, I've got to say, first of all, I'm impressed with this result, especially on the outside part of the wheel, the alloy wheel, um, with a bit of agitation, but really a light agitation. It came off super quickly, all the dirt, and it started to turn purple super quickly. I should have left the wheel cleaner on the inside barrel for a bit longer, and I should have agitated it more. Uh, but I wanted to do like a quick quick job right now because anyway first of all rain is coming and second uh, I will do a proper full deep cleaning of the wheels soon So I'm impressed with the result. Let's go to the next one on this wheel. I'm only going to um, Just to spray on leave it on for a little bit and then rinse it off
this one is also very impressive because um, most of the dirt came off um, however I was spraying the um, wheel cleaner from this angle and there are spots like this one and this one where I couldn't or didn't hit it directly so most likely less product was clinging onto uh, therefore those ones remained a bit dirty but the rest where I managed to hit it properly most of the dirt came off where to show I show you like here not a bit of dirt and this one was only after what was it like a half a minute or less maybe um, to staying on even from inside the barrel it removed a lot without any agitation so uh, I'm very impressed with right now I'm going to spray it on both of the wheels uh, these ones are also dirty it's the other side of the car of course and we will see what's happening I'm going to leave it on for longer uh, so let's see looking forward to All right, it removed most of the dirt. Where it couldn't remove was, of course, the areas where I didn't hit it properly again, like here and those edges. Um, but other than that, I have to say, for me, it looks like it doesn't make any difference if I leave it for one minute or like more than three minutes on, because even within the minute, it removed um, a great deal of dirt without ag agitation. And with agitation, it would be considerably more. On the wheel on the back, it's on for now over five minutes. So let's see what's the situation there. Right, so it was on for over five minutes and it didn't stain anything. Um, no residue left. It's nice and squeaky clean. Um, again, I didn't agitate it at all. Um, and if I did, then it would be like super clean, but um, <clears throat> I'm very impressed with the result. So all in all, it works very quickly, very effectively. And with a little bit of agitation, you can do um, a lot more uh, with much less product 
so very happy with the result anyhow as it started to rain here it's just dripping yet but soon um, it's going to pour down like cats and dogs um, I'm going to finish off the video here so in case you liked it please hit the subscribe button um, like the channel and click the notification button all below and catch you in the next video thank you guys thank you for your time bye